Projection mapping is cool, but it's a pain to figure out the first step. Hey, yeah, and welcome to Makin. Over the years, I've helped out with visual effects for a few stage shows where we would rig up a projector, then throw all sorts of effects onto the stage to enhance the production. One thing that really helped me was to throw a grid onto the projector and use this to decide on the position for each element. The director could then say, hey, can we have the wizard's head on E3? And it would be as simple as that. At the time, I thought this was very clever of me. But then I was watching a making of Eurovision and they take alignment grids to the next level. For the stage hands, they have 45 seconds to place each act's set pieces and they do it using these sort of grids. So I've remade my grid as shape layers, which work for both vertical and horizontal screens. Why vertical? Well, I also use this for my safe sounds preset, where I use the alignment grid to see what areas of the video would be obscured. In fact, alignment grids are a useful tool for whenever you need to see how your video interacts with the real world. Hey, do you mind? Hey, you're interrupting my video. Dude, this is my video about safe zones for vertical videos. Well, at the same time as you're talking about that, I'm sharing my, our, alignment grid preset. Oh, good. After you're done hearing about my, our, actually useful preset, you can jump over to your, uh, my, video on stage stuff. To install the preset for After Effects in Windows, navigate to your users area, My Documents. For Mac users, open Finder, then copy the FFX preset file into Applications, After Effects, Presets. Then in either operating system, open Adobe After Effects. To add to a comp, just make sure no layer is selected and double click the preset. This creates a new shape layer. And if you expand it on the timeline, you can see I have two sets of labels, one for vertical and one for horizontal. And if I expand each shape's group transform properties, you can see the comp's width drives the visibility. I hope you find this useful. And if nothing else, it's an example of using shape layers for utility purposes rather than just always for design. Mm -hmm.